It'll sure be good to see my cousin Jed again. I can't wait to meet him. Like, what does Jed do, Fred? He makes monsters. Monsters? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I just remembered I've got something on the stove. And me and Scoob have to go back. Relax, you scaredy cats. Jed works for a special effects studio. They make fake monsters for movies. Well, here we are. Monstrous fright and magic. Monsters while you wait. Sure. And like, do you mind if we wait in the van? Jeepers! What happened here? Like, I'll never understand creative types, but I do groove on their style. <laughs> Jed! It's Fred! This place has been completely ransacked. All right, gang. Let's split up and see if we can find any clues. Scooby, I'm so glad you're here. You've got to help Velma. She's been cornered by these two huge rats. Try to scare them off. Scare them? I'm scared. Good job, Scooby. You've defeated the rats. Or rather, some sort of rat-like special effects creatures. <laughs> hey, Scoob. Like, have you found any food? When you do, just look for me in my trusted porta kitchen, and I'll cook us up one of my delicious meals. <laughs> Don't move. Like what mess did you get into, Scoob? <laughs> I call it Mubber. A remarkable soy-based formula that can take any shape. And it only breaks down under UV light. Isn't that right, Marcy? With Mubber, Mr. Stanton has perfected the most lifelike special effects monsters ever. And would you believe it even tastes good? Yummy! Mr. Stanton, pleased to meet you. I'm Fred, this is Daphne, Velma, Shaggy, and Scooby-Doo. We're friends of Jed Jones. Jed? That thief? Look around. He caused all this so he could steal my creations. He reprogrammed the animatronics monsters, and now they're attacking people. How can you be sure it's Jed? He's missing. And so's my mubber, UV lamps, some animatronics. That's all the proof I need. Mr. Stanton, I don't believe Jed would ever do such a thing. We'll get to the bottom of this mystery. Do you have any idea where Jed could have gone? He had a delivery to Chinatown for the New Year's Parade. Chinatown. Chad's first stop. Seems kind of quiet for a parade. You should not be here. The dragon is angry. Dragon? And you are? My name is Maggie Z. I'm in charge of the New Year's celebration. We're looking for my cousin, Jed. He was delivering... Jeez. Where's Maggie? Well, Dragon or not, we'll solve this mystery. How dare you disturb the peace of the great Zendu! Zentuo is one tough cookie. <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> you are marked by the curse of the dragon. Leave now before it is too late. Zentuo has spoken. Look, a manhole. It looks like Zentuo went into the sewer. Something about this mystery smells fishy. Keep a lookout, guys. I'm going to find Fred and Daphne. I can't see anything down there. Uh, 
Crotwell, Shaggy. <laughs> Scooby, nice of you to drop in. Like that Zentuo dude just left me here to rot. But he didn't count on my best pal rescuing me. Scooby, you made it. Now let's get a one-ton Sunday or something. Yeah. Hey guys. Oh, what's that smell? You know, like that's the smell of fear, Velma. Fear, as well as fish, rotten eggs, stale rice, and uh, I do believe tarragon. Has anyone seen Daphne? It sounded like it was coming from the temple. Scooby, watch out! Daphne! <laughs> hmm. I wonder if I could get a suit like that. Look, it's Zentuo. So, you thought you could defeat Zentuo? You and your mutt are no match for me. Mud? Looking for something? I don't believe you've had the pleasure of meeting my friend. Oh no! The dragon! Now let's see who Zen Tuo really is. It's Maggie Z. It was her disappearing act that gave her away. Quite a trick, until I realized she was conveniently near a sewer entrance. Using the dragon as a distraction, she could drop down into the sewer and be gone. <laughs> Nice try, Mystery Inc. Like she's not real, she's mother. You can't catch what you can't hold. That sounded like a man's voice. I know what you're all thinking. That voice. I know Jed and, and that wasn't him. You sure this is the place? I've pinpointed the source of Maggie Z's radio transmissions. This is it. Like, are you sure they didn't come from that burger joint we passed earlier? <laughs> I'm just asking. Wait, I know this place. Rock and Roller Coaster Land. It's a theme park started by one of my favorite musicians, the Guitar Ghoul. I don't like the sound of that. Who is this Guitar Ghoul? Nobody knows. He appears and disappears where and when he wants to. And who are you? Alvin Wiener, the Guitar Ghoul's biggest fan. Tonight, he's on a rampage. He's frightened everyone else away. So, have you found any clues? Yes, thanks to Scooby. According to this surveillance tape, the park has been plagued by a number of disturbing events. Like, would you define disturbing, please? First, rides started going crazy. Then animatronics began chasing people around. It was as if they had a life of their own. This sounds like sabotage. Here's the strange thing. The signal controlling the robots seemed to be coming from Ghoul Mountain in the water park. Okay, gang, let's split up and look for clues. Scooby and Shaggy, you check out the water park. We'll try to find Alvin and learn more about this guitar ghoul. I was afraid he'd say that. Like Scoob, wait for me. Hey, isn't that this guitar ghoul guy? Let's have a look. One thing's for sure, this guy rocks. Get it? He rocks! <laughs> There you 
you are, Raggy. Hey, Scoob. Boy, am I glad to see you. And look what I found. A giant water slide. So what do we do now? I know. Let's have a sing-along. Zoinks. The guitar girl. <laughs> What you get for going head to head against the guitar boom. Hey guys, like we found someone. Uh, Nikki Starlight, right? Please, call me Nikki. Like she was the guitar ghoul's girlfriend. So why are you here, Miss Starlight? Like you, I'm trying to find out what's happening here. I can tell you this much the guitar ghoul would never harm anyone. He couldn't possibly be behind this. Even though the clues say otherwise? Help! That sounds like Daphne. Daphne? It sounds like she's in the circus area. Zoinks! Look, Scooby! Daphne's in a cage! Shaggy! Scooby! Over here! You go on and uh, try to find a way to reach that cage, Scoob. You did it, Scooby-Doo! <laughs> Now hook the cage to the cable! Okay, now I'll activate this. Targul is about to be singing a new tune, because this mystery is almost solved. So, you kids think that you can catch me? Think again! The guitar ghoul is unstoppable! Be warned, my music is always loud, and the hits never stop! He's gotta be broadcasting from the House of Mirrors. Let's go! <laughs> Welcome! Mm -hmm. I wrote a little something just for you. Let's see if you can survive it! Alvin Wiener? You can't prove anything. Besides, I'm the victim here. What do you mean? Daphne, what we have before us is a story of jealousy. Mr. Wiener's band, Deaf Potato, was never a real success. He blamed his failure on the guitar ghoul, whom he saw as a rival. Wait, so like, you blamed yourself? Not quite. He was offered a way to destroy the guitar ghoul, literally from the inside. All he needed was this costume. Scooby? Mober! Of course! Who gave you that costume, Mr. Wiener? They didn't offer their name. Just a chance for revenge. By sabotaging the Guitar Ghoul's popular theme park. And I would have gotten away with it, too, if it hadn't been for you meddling kids. So, who's the real ghoul? And why is he hiding? Not he. She! Yeah, Velma's right. I am the real Guitar Ghoul. But why the secret identity? I wanted to share my music, not my life. So I created the Guitar Ghoul disguise. Perhaps this uh, could remain our little secret, huh? Like our lips are sealed. Thanks, I appreciate it. In exchange, I've got some information which you might find interesting. Jeepers, they sure are doing a lot of renovations here. Well, as long as the cafeteria is open. From what Nikki heard, that place where Jed worked, Monstrous Fright and Magic, provided most of the new interactive exhibits here. All right, gang. Let's split up and look for clues. Hey, Scoob. Like, what about all these fake volcanoes, huh? These would make some awesome barbecues. Barbecue? Mmm. I'm hungry. Well, guess what I have. Oh, right. A drumstick. Now, wait a minute. I was saving this for a special occasion. <laughs> Shaggy! Your drumstick! Thanks, 
Scoob. I owe you one. That's quite a prize you got there, Scooby. Can I see it? Good work. Maybe you guys can check out the medieval room while I investigate the undersea exhibit with Daphne. Hey, Scoob. I'll bet you they have some kind of barbecue in there. Oh, boy. A barbecue. All right. Like Fred always says, let's split up and look for food. Okay. Guys, any luck? Well, Scooby found this. It seems to be some sort of contract. Jinkies! <laughs> Zoinks! That's the undersea exhibit. Quick, guys, we have to save them. Look, Fred. Is that Scooby? <laughs> Scooby, you made it! Well, there's still the problem of us being trapped in a cage. No problem, Fred. Good job, Scooby. Let's go find the others. I think I've got it figured out. Zoinks! There! It's the caveman! and find Winslow Stanton. Zoinks! There's so many of them. Look! Jed! Hey, cousin. Uh, do you mind blasting the rest of this, too? Just as I suspected. Jed was trapped in that costume. She's right. I was framed. I discovered that Stanton was up to no good, so he trapped me in that costume to prevent me from ratting him out. I was in there the first time you came by. Jed, I'm so glad you're all right. Thanks to you, cousin. You won't get away with your lies, Jed. You won't get away, period. It's Stanton. Sounds like he's in the miniature city set. Well, well, well. Did you really think you'd get away with this?
going somewhere. The jig is up, Mr. Stanton. Is it? Why, there are two of you! Hmm. Scooby? Hmm. Hmm? Mama! It's Marcy! Indeed, Fred. It seems Marcy was trying to frame Stanton, not Jed. Marcy? But why? Because I helped create Mother, but you took all the credit for it. I thought that if I gave you a bad name, I could start up my own business. Mr. Stanton, is this true? Marcy, I didn't know you felt this way. You should have talked to me about it. Destroying the reputation of monstrous fright and magic would destroy Mubber. I'm sorry if I hurt you, Marcy. I'd like you to become a partner in the company. If you can forgive me, that is. Yeah, I think I can do that. Another mystery solved. Are you coming, Shaggy? Just making myself something for the road. I call it a mother witch. <laughs> huh? What gives? <laughs> now that's what I call a light snack. Ha, 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 ha,